Hey there, and welcome to a special throwback edition of The Final Wager. I'm here in my childhood bedroom wearing my sweatshirt from the college championship. Well, three of the four games at least. You've seen the blue one. I don't like that one as much. I didn't like that game. That was the first game of my finals. I've got some uh, really nerdy stuff. I've got a Who Wants to Be a Millionaire hat from a Disney World trip where I was in the hot seat. I've got a lanyard here from same thing. A bunch of uh, tokens on it. I got up to the $500,000 level and the prize was a crew, so I decided to go for it and I missed. Who knew that uh, the Tribune Tower had pieces of the Great Pyramid of Egypt embedded into its walls? That's pretty cool. I've also got some tre chess trophies. Um, <laughs> a letterman, or at least a varsity letter. I played var uh, varsity golf. It's the academic pin. All right, you didn't watch this video to watch me nerd out. Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's all I do here. Well, we had a, a pretty tight game today on the Monday show. Uh, all three of our players went in and out of the red in the first round and kind of changed the lead toward the end. Ramona had an anti-penultimate wager I didn't like very much because she put herself at risk of getting knocked out, basically, and didn't take the lead by getting it right. But she did take the lead on the final clue, and she's got it. Thomas in third, and Vaughn looking to repeat in second. Calculations are very straightforward in a situation like this. If I'm in first, I'm either going to go for the lockout against second, or I'm going to bet so I don't follow either of them and just hope for a triple stuffer or hope the other two will at least miss it. If I'm Vaughn in second place, I want to cover Thomas, and I don't want to fall below Ramona. And if I'm Thomas, I have a choice to make. I can either bet really small and hope that Vaughn goes for the lockout against me, or go a little bit bigger and hope that I get it right, or that Vaughn goes for some bigger range, but that wouldn't really make sense here, so. Thomas got it right and went for that bigger range. That would have hurt him though. Vaughn got it right, went for the smallish, you know, basic lockout wager, which had he gotten it wrong, had Thomas gotten it wrong, he still would have beaten Thomas. And Ramona missed and made Vaughn a two-time champ, so on Tuesday's game he'll be going for Number three, it's been exactly five weeks since Ryan Alley lost his fourth game. Join me Tuesday to see if he can break the curse. But first, anything else nerdy here? Why do I have a teacup here? That's weird. Oh, I have a full set of National Geographics. That's awesome. I'm going to go look through those. And I'll see you Tuesday on the final wager.